The Witness is a 2016 open world puzzle game with a nature low poly aesthetic. For some reason, a bunch of games are copying its art style. And for some reason, these games never have anything similar to The Witness gameplay. Like the one thing that would be the best to steal. The gameplay itself is just generic mobile game stuff. But for some reason, John Blow, the creator of The Witness, keeps getting drawn to these games. Oh, come on. Let me play the next puzzle. Despite the rage. <laughs> Jesus. This game is going to drive me nuts with this. Like, some of these games look incredibly good, but their gameplay is just... There's just barely any puzzle in them. And it's kind of sad. I swear we need someone to take these games and build a better one off their environments, but... Run speed is not fast enough. My ship has sunk. That's environment to storytelling. Now, honestly, there's not much of a trend here because there are some other games that use The Witness's art style, but do not really have bad gameplay. I've played this one. It's called Logicality. And even though its art style does look like The Witness, and there are some janky things in this game for sure, it does build on its ideas and do a lot of variations with them. So I honestly like this game, but it's not that deep or surprising, I guess. And it's not like the low poly art style is actually that hard to get to. For example, The Looker, which was this Witness parody game, obviously intentionally trying to take the Witness's art style. Low poly asset packs just fit the style very well. You can see that Shield is in the Fantasy Kingdom set. Like in this one, a Bonnie Odyssey, it seems like it's taking half of its art style from The Witness, but the other half from Outer Wilds. But this is a video on a playthrough of Botany Manor, which does have a Witness-like art style. But again, nothing like the Witness's gameplay. It's actually a flower-themed game about making flowers. So let's get into the gameplay. So we just start in here. Okay, there's obviously a lot of plants and stuff. The door is locked. So we're already starting off like as if it was some sort of room escape. There's the ladder, which I cannot climb. Uh, right next to the door is this. Dear Arabella Green, thank you for submitting your book proposal, The Forgotten Floor, to Mayflower Publishing House. We're very intrigued. And this parcel can find empty her bar I am. Okay, so we need to fill all the pages, like some other slender game you might know. <laughs> okay, so this, oh, we got a book here. A fresh start. All right, and I guess each of those will contain something about, like, flowers or whatever. It's a very weird concept. Okay, postcard. So yeah, it's it's interesting this is like a puzzle S game because like it's interesting how they're going to get puzzle elements out of this. I wouldn't have expected that. Okay, I can uh increase temperature in something I don't know yet. Very weird. Okay, let's um can I select this? Yes. I can barely see the smog. Is that a mystery game? Is that what we're going for? I can barely see. <laughs> uh, from here, we can collect seeds. Ah, windmill wart. And I need to find four clues. But I'll need to research its temperature requirements first. I see. Okay. So what about here? Here's the something about the wart. And, okay. Soil temperatures, but they're location-based. Hmm. Well, the windmill wart is a volcanic flower, which means it's this column, but we don't know which place it is. If I pull up tab, I can do this. The temperature chart's definitely relevant. It's not like everything, right? That's it. Oh, they just are. Okay. How about that? You Okay. Well, I do hope the logic is more involved later on because it's not just like putting every piece of evidence you have. It's still locked. Um, you're going to probably need to, like, select more carefully for future flowers. Also, seeds inventory. You can plant it. All right. Hmm. And water. So there's still this interactive portion. No, no, I didn't. What's this? Oh, shoot. Um, This postcard. Yeah, you can actually spin it around. There's text on it. Um, So, yeah, it, it grows in Sicily. All right, so then we that should lay, uh, lock everything down. It's a Sicily, so it's 60 Celsius. So I didn't just luckily put it on 60, right? No, it's 60. <laughs> okay, and how do I make that temperature, like, actually make the flower, of course? 
Um, can you just throw it in there? I don't know. Can just put it down? I mean, this is like leading... Oh, here. Okay. And then we open the heat vent, and it's at 60, so... There we go. Okay, does that magically has some door opening properties? Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> well, there we go. And the description updated as well. We also that we also just saw the air purifying qualities as well, so that's cool. Very nice detail. Now here is where the game starts to look a little witnessy, even though its gameplay is not really witnessy at all, as you can already tell. <coughs> want easter egg now okay it's clearly not that type of game so let's just continue on the path apparently i can't um i'm very big and cannot go through these small gaps <laughs> and see through though very nice and on this path i guess this is just a relaxation part for now i i like the great white wall that we've put in here um it's a very nice testing environment to keep all the flowers safe. You know, the works. <laughs> ah, here we go. Here's the castle with the blue blue door, because why not? Okay, we have another um, preparation center, I guess. So if we can find like the postcard or whatever, we can also open this door. This is level two now. All right. So there are five clues. Fulguria. Apparently it's like in a thunderstorm. Or perhaps related to that. I don't know. But okay. Hmm. Well we need to also look for clues. So the door is locked. This door is locked. Uh, apparently this tree is also like encroaching the entire area. It's taking up some... Uh, it's basically a tenant in this place. So... I mean, let's see. First of all, quack. Um, next, there is this door. This is actually something I can open. Ooh. Okay, well, first of all, um, I mean, you probably shouldn't touch these without knowing what to do with them. There's another room. There's so many rooms in just like this plant game. Okay. Right? These are only grown during thunderstorms. Unless that left and right matters, I'm not completely sure what information that gave me that the postcard didn't. I guess maybe it gave me a look at what the flower was like. Got some nice stairs here. Drawer. You're very lit up for a drawer handle. Locked. Lo oh, not locked. Okay. Locked. Good job. <laughs> Dang it. Why are so unnaturally bright? You look like UI. The only thing I can think of is that, like, you're trying to simulate a thunderstorm. Correct photograph. Oh, come on. Some of the text is gone. Flash powder. Hmm. Blurry photograph. Camera experiment one. So, supposedly, I would believe these are, like, pictures of the flower that we're aiming to go. Okay, and if I go in here, we can see, like, the photograph. Hmm. That only counts for one clue, though. Also, why is there a floating white dot on, like, a place I can't reach? What? I thought that was a white dot. Oh my gosh, I thought it was a white dot. You know, outside this house, there's, like, other stuff. I mean, there's it's not that much to look at, but completely empty, dirtless buckets. Uh, we have... A nice space. If you have enough pareidolia, you can see there's a face here. Um, a table, which has been blocking the way. That's very good table placement. Very good job. Um, also, this place. This is great. I want to hug this. Water. Uh, we can't access here yet, I think. Right, it's a sign without any text on it. Books. Good job. It's that it should go in the library, but okay. We also have the. I don't recommend using this as a ladder. Um, okay, and more actual ladders. It's sad that we can't go on it ourselves. These ladders would have been so helpful in the witness, but no. 
decided to check back here just for a little bit to see if maybe like the Fulguria plant that I'm going for is on this list. It does not seem like it. Also, this dark photograph is a typo. What is Fash Powder? <laughs> Wait, this room? This fireplace room. I mean, first of all, gotta check for hidden passages here. But if you go in here, yes. Okay, there's more detail. Flash lamp. Okay. Yep. Seems like that's all. That's just showing like flash powder is required. I don't know if like our character is like some sort of intruder or like someone who's aware of any of the people who are involved. But okay, bright flashes, as they think a storm must be coming. Yeah. <laughs> what, the bright flashes imitate a thunderstorm? Good job. You can take the picture. All right, well, luckily everyone has evacuated the house, so no more milk production uh, issues anymore, I guess. Hmm. Is that all? We don't have enough, right? We, all we got was um, flash lamp manual and the letter. I mean, that's... <laughs> we still need one more. Hmm. Oh my gosh, there's a flash powder bottle of gear this whole time. Okay, so it's potassium and magnesium, but two times the amount of potassium, I believe. Okay, highly combustible also. Okay, so then we just put the bottle in there, and there we go. We have all the clues. All right, well, here, obviously, potassium and magnesium. So two and one. Okay. Then, well, we're not supposed we're shaking this up. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have this right now, though. I mean, after all, we, we still need to have the... The process of getting the seed from here. Watering it. And then we need to bring it somewhere, right? Hmm. Okay. Well, of course, we want to bring it up, as well as bring the flash powder concoction up, which we'll do that later. Wait. I mean, this is not the right place. <laughs> I think it was, like, in here where the camera stuff was. So we go in here, put it... Um... Uh, <laughs> wait, okay, here, here, okay. All right, so then we want to go in here and then pour it inside. And, okay, is that enough? Or, or do I need to do even more nonsense, you know? Like, I can press E as well to... Because I don't know if I need to do anything more than just flash it a bunch of times. Still developing. Uh, hopefully it's not in development hell. Okay, so photo slide. There's no text on it. Hmm. Oh, close the contain. Wait. Um. Sure. Sure. Okay. Close it and then. Um. I don't even know what to do with this photo slide. Oh, there we. There it is. All right. Okay, there it is. It's okay. Sorry for not closing the container. Hey. Okay. Oh, end of the demo. And well, hopefully some of the freaking doors have unlocked, aren't it? Uh, <laughs> if they're still locked, why do I guess if they're still locked or not? I mean, oh my gosh, we already explored the manor though. We call this bad manners.